Hello Gemini, thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to be looking at what's coming towards you in love. Uh, so we'll look at who or what is coming towards you and what do you need to know about the situation or the person coming your way. Um, as always, these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Gemini. And let's just jump right in and see what we have for you for Gemini. Spirit Angels, guys. Oops. What can Gemini expect in a love spirit? What can Gemini expect in love? Guidance messages, please, for my Geminis. What can Gemini... Oh, of course we have the hangman as the first card. What can Gemini expect? Wow, the Ace of Cups. Okay, this is looking up. Or things are looking up, I guess I should say. What else for Gemini? Spare? Can they expect in love? Strength. Leo energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy there. So I think that there's definitely somebody that's interested in you or vice versa. And I think that for some of you, this might be completely new love. We have the Ace of Cups here, very fulfilling energy, you know, new love, love that's like bursting, emotions. Um, this is interesting, this strength card. I, I know there's something interesting about it. I'm gonna have to clarify. But the hangman, this is no action, no movement. The hangman is literally hanging around. Um, but they're at a different angle, so they can see things differently, get a new perspective on things. Um, so it could be that there's, you know, a lull or a delay in love for you, or perhaps you're realizing something about love during this time. Let's get some more insight for you, Gemini. What can Gemini expect in love? Could be dealing with a Leo or a water sign. Those are just the signs that have happened to come out so far. Falling leaves. Time changes everything. Something shifting here. Falling leaves is all about changes, transition, timing, changes over time. There's second chances. Rebirth, Resurrection, Revival. Gemini, you keep getting this message. Taking action. Yeah, something shifting because I feel like someone's taking action. Broken silence is at the bottom of the deck. So this could be somebody speaking up, reaching out here, being vulnerable. Let's clarify. Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here for Gemini? The six of pentacles. I feel like um, this energy is more about you. I'm starting to think that this is more a you thing with the hangman. Because I think with the six of pentacles, you're starting to realize something about the give and take when it comes to love. Whether this is past love or future love. Maybe you want something that's a bit more fair to you, more balanced. Maybe you're thinking about how you can give so that you can receive. Why is the hangman here for Gemini? Why is the hangman here? Four of pentacles. Yeah, because you've been holding back. Someone's been holding back here. Maybe you've dealt with people that haven't given to you the same that you've given in return. Like you've been... It's been an unfair exchange. Maybe you're realizing that in the past you didn't give enough of yourself or you were still dealing with situations that held you back. So I feel like you're thinking about things differently when it comes to love. This could be about a particular person. The two of wands is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you're headed in a, in a new direction, Gemini, because of this realization or understanding or new perspective that you have. 
And I think it's bringing in new love or a very fulfilling type of love. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Yeah, the sun. Wow. Happiness. Good news. Tell me about the sun. I mean, the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The lovers. Wow, Gemini. There you are. I feel like this is the partner for you. Someone that makes you truly happy, that fulfills you emotionally. Maybe this is a soulmate coming in. We have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck with... Da, 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 the Page of Cups. And then right behind that, the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like there is definitely someone that's going to be opening up to you here with the Ace of Swords and Broken Silence. Maybe it's expressing how they feel. Maybe it's an apology. I'm getting that you can't stop smiling. Something's happening to my mouth right now. <laughs> it's really weird. Yeah, this person is... Um, uh, for some of you, it's someone completely new. And for others of you, it's a second chance with a specific person. Because I'm not taking the second chances literally. I don't think this is second chances with a past person per se. It could also be just you get another chance to do things right when it comes to love tell me about strength tell me about strength please why is strength here because this is a very interesting energy the fool tell me about strength what do we need to know spirit about strength Two of Pentacles. Interesting. And the Chariot at the bottom of the deck. Cancer Energy. So the Fool is all about taking risks, new beginnings, new starts. The Fool and Strength. Very, very fascinating because Strength is about not forcing things. Um, it's about inner strength. You're not using physical strength. You're just being strong internally. You're using a different approach to get what you need. Um, and you're kind of going with the flow, which is exactly the full energy. <laughs> but the full is more kind of like, they don't really think about things too much. So I feel like whatever's happening here, Gemini, I feel like you are being different or you are approaching something differently. Maybe you're being more carefree. Um, I feel like you might be even going back and forth between this like really carefree energy and wanting to take risks and be brave and maybe this other energy of well is this even the right way to go about it I, i'm getting second hand like um second guessing it's not second hand second guessing uh, because i think deep down you just want to move forward like you just want to go after this and kind of like not think about it too much i feel like you just want to see where this leads can I get one more, please? For strength. Can we get one more? Why is strength here? Ah, wow, I got three. Great, okay. We got the Knight of Pentacles, Judgment, wow. And the Empress. So I feel like there's a lot of potential here with the Knight of Pentacles and Empress especially, but here's Judgment, so again, um, some of you, this is literally someone calling you to, to try again or wanting a second chance, a rebirth, a revival of something. But this is also what I'm picking up, like the hangman energy that I was talking about earlier. There's some sort of aha moment that you're experiencing. Maybe this person shows up and you're like, aha, uh -huh, this is the person for me. This is why it hasn't worked out with anyone else. Yeah, I feel that. This is the... It's almost going to be like this deep knowledge or understanding that you have about your love life in general. Um, like you'll be able to look back and be like, okay, I understand now why things didn't work out back then. Maybe it wasn't the right time or the right person. It's going to be different for all of you. What else do we need to know for Gemini? What can they expect in love?
What can they expect in love? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, I want a kipper instead. I was going to keep going, but I want a kipper. What else? What else does Gemini need to know, Spirit? What's coming their way in love? Now, this taking action, this could be you or someone else. Okay, so there's Pathway. Pathway is about still having... Um, still having longer to go. You know, the journey isn't over. I'm getting like searching from this card. Like you've been wandering around searching. You've been on this road for some time. Some of you might be dating for a long time or have been dating for a long time. Maybe you have a long history with someone. But I feel like this this is uh this journey isn't I, I think it's coming to a, a close, but there's still a little bit more to go. Um I feel like you had to free yourself from something or you need to free yourself from something. This could also be the person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with in the future. Maybe they have to free themselves from something. So let's ask Spirit, what do you need to know? Like, what do you need to know specifically about this situation that is coming your way? Spirit, what does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know about this situation? What does Gemini need to know, Spirit? What do they need to know? The Hermit, Virgo energy. See, it's that seeking, searching, listening to your heart, listening to your intuition, Virgo energy here. What does Gemini need to know, Spirit? What does Gemini need to know? The Nine of Wands. Yeah, it hasn't been easy. I feel like a lot of you, you've been almost like holding on. Maybe because your intuition is telling you that this is what you need to do. Maybe you have been needing to be on this particular path. Whether it's been difficult or not. Um, I feel like you were meant to go down this particular road when it came to love. Some of you are just now understanding that or will be understanding that in the future. Like there will be some sort of understanding um, as to like why things happened. Like, again, it's that energy of this is, you know, you understand now why it didn't work out before, you know, it's like it wasn't meant to work out with anyone else or any something like that. Any guidance, any messages, please, for Gemini before I clarify that hermit. Oh, oh my gosh, look. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. What else does Gemini need to know? Okay. Make a change. Number 16. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of you are realizing that your approach to love, how you feel, what's going on for you in love, something has to change there. And, and for some reason, that understanding or that change will bring about this taking action, Ace of Cups, Falling Leaves, you know? But it had to happen this way. Gemini, let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy the reading. Tell me about the Hermit. What do we need to know about the Hermit? What do we need to know? The Seven of Swords. My goodness. Why? What's going on here with the Hermit? Yeah, you are not. Okay. Two of Cups. Interesting. There is um some sort of um, connection or okay there's two ways to look at this some of you were mistreated taken advantage of 
have been carrying something with you throughout this pathway energy. And you're understanding this now. And I think it had to do with a particular person, could have been a past soulmate or something like that. Others of you, I feel like your intuition has alerted you about someone that's coming in or someone you already know. It's like there's something here, yeah, with temperance, Sagittarius energy there, something slowly coming together. It's like your intuition has been telling you that. Like there's something to wait for or something that's meant for you and there's, you, you understand that. But it had, to, it had to take time to develop. It had to take time. Maybe this was a karmic lesson for you or for another person. In any case, I feel like Whatever this hangman represents for you, whatever you're seeing in a new light, and of course you can flip this for the person that you're thinking about or will be connecting with, whatever this hangman represents, it's like a, a light switch, you know, it, it's, it kind of redirects you without you realizing it. And by making a change, you're inviting love in. That's what I feel is happening here. And it's something that as soon as you recognize it, as soon as it comes into your life, you don't even want to think about it. You just want to kind of experience it and go with it and see where it leads. So I find this to be a very fascinating reading. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.